All right, so what's going on, Fish Holics? Rich here, and welcome back to hopefully another exciting video. And uh, today, out here in Montauk, it's really hot, it's humid, and we're gonna launch the kayak today and uh, try and get on a little bit of a fluke bite. Uh, today is actually the 4th of July, so happy belated 4th of July. I hope you had a good time. And uh, we're gonna try and launch on the south side first. But first we gotta see if we can even find parking because it's a zoo out here right now. And then we're gonna see and you know how the swell height is, the wave height. And if that's all good, then we'll launch on the south side. But if we can't do any of that, then we're gonna just go to the north side, give it three, four hours and uh, see what happens. So let's give it a shot. All right, so I just checked three lots uh, along the south side where I wanted the kayak fish off of and uh, we didn't stand a chance. Totally fully loaded with cars. Uh, maybe we, if we got here at like 7 or 8 a.m. we would have had a chance. But, uh, you know, there's also some fog, like really thick fog, like right off the shore. So it probably would be unsafe to kayak here anyway. Uh, so I guess we're going to go to the north side and uh, give it a shot there. So let's hit it. All right, we're out here. We're going to start off with this little broad street bucktail with a little pink fluke on the back. And then we'll start uh, heading in the direction we want to go once our hook four turns on. Try dropping down here real quick though. There's a fish. First five minutes, most likely a sea robin, but we got a fish. Oh yeah, sea robin. There we go. Really clean water today, it's nice. Really nice action in the water. And uh, even though we caught that sea robin, we're gonna keep moving, get out into some deeper water. Probably where it uh, drops off from like 30 to like 40 feet. And uh, I haven't tried those deeper depths yet this year. I mean, we've been catching a lot of fish up shallow, but uh, I've kind of wanted to uh, try some deeper water. So we'll give that a shot and see if we can get something nice. I'm actually marking some bait here, so we're gonna drop down real quick. This isn't uh, the spot that I wanted to fish, but might as well try it. And uh, I just realized like five seconds ago while I was steaming out here, I forgot my net in the car, like nice. Like you need a net for fluke, like especially big fluke. They're escape artists and I, f I flunked up, I messed up. There's a fish. Boom, five minutes. That's a fluky too. Mark some bait and he was there. Whoa, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Wish I brought the net right now. Oh gosh. That's how they get off right there. Okay. Nice fish on the half ounce or three quarter ounce Broad Street Bucktails. Suck that right down. And he is definitely over 18, probably 18 and a half, close to 19. We're not really looking for keepers today, but we're just, you know, fun fishing. Woo, nice one though. Let's see if we can drop back down and get another. That was quick. I mean, today's like a perfect day where it's like black calm, very little wind. You, know, you, you can do like a nice, you know, slow drift with these little bucktails. And a lot of the bait right now is small, so that's why these fish are really keying in on this. Caught that fish out of 39 feet of water, right near the bottom. Probably only jigged it, like what, like four or five times? And that fish just smashed it. There's another one. Yeah. Some nice fish here. Definitely a little concentration. This one's a little smaller probably. Ah, actually another decent fish. Whoa. <laughs> That's why you need the net. Especially for fluke. I mean today, like, I don't really care about these small ones because 
I don't have, you know, I'm not really trying to eat any. But, um, you know, if we hook anything really big, like seven pounds, and he gets off, that's gonna suck. Another 18 incher. So, you know, a Jersey keeper, but not a New York keeper. New York is 19 inches. Got something red, you know, on his tail there, red markings. See you later. Woo, skipper. Oh, oh, just missed them. Hit it right on the drop, the top of the drop. See, I'm just doing a nice, there's another one. Nice, slow, steady jig. And these fish are crushing it. It's probably a smaller one. Oh, it's a sea bass. I'll take that, a little sea bass. I think sea bass uh, is 15 inches this year. That's kind of big for a sea bass, but I guess if you're on a nice piece of structure, it's not hard to, to catch a 15 inch sea bass, especially because uh, most sea bass have like really, really long tails. Like, you know, so like they add like a couple inches. Nice slow jig. I'm lifting it up probably about like one to three feet. Oh, that one fit, that fish hit it at the top of the, the jig. I'm not jigging it aggressively. I'm not jigging it subtle. Just kind of pulling it up and there he is. What is this? This might be another sea bass. Nope, little fluke. A little shorty. Not bad though. I don't know, we've been fishing so far for like 10 minutes really. Once we got out into some deeper water. Already, you know, two 18 inch fish, sea biscuit, and a short fluke. For me, it's hard to consider like an 18 inch fluke a shorty just because you know for i fluke in jersey where that's a keeper but I, you know and here in new york you know that is technically a short but uh still a nice fish you know fun on this light tackle rod screen is loaded with bait right now loaded look at that it's like all dark like from halfway down to the surface so there's not really any bait near the bottom but, but there's occasional patches that are like swimming right along the bottom. Now, I don't know if that's squid or sand eels. Sand eels, I would think, would be closer to the surface, but, you know, it's hard to say, really. Real little one. Whoa, 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 easy, 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 easy. A little flounder. Look at that, he took my, my fluke off. I think this uh, little bait is done. Whoa. Look at him, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> That's funny. Like skipping across the surface. And uh, I really like this bucktail because it has a little bit of flash on the side. So it'll give a little flash down there for these fluke. And then uh, just that placement of the pink on top of the white, I love that. And again, these are available uh, at fishaholicfishing.com. I'll put the link down in the description. You guys can pick some up if you want. Let's uh, get another fluke out here. I don't know if I have any pink ones. Oh, I might have. Yeah, I think I have one left here. Yeah, here we go. One pink one left. And then we're gonna have to switch out to something else. Probably a white one would work fine. But I'm not using any gulp, and I'm not using any bait, and we're still catching fish. Like, really, I think these fluke, you know, if they're aggressive, they're hungry, they're just going, you know, going to feed based on sight and action. And, you know, of course, of course, if you have bait on there, you know, they might have a little bit longer hold time, but for the most part, I think as long as you're like paying attention, as soon as you feel that initial hit, you can, you know, set them and nail them pretty good. All right, funny, I put on a new piece of plastic, dropped down, fished like 10 minutes without a tap. So we're going to go back up and do this same drift again. And if we don't get anything else, then we'll go out to our main spot we wanted to try. Thank goodness for GPS. We know exactly where we started this drift. This was such a random drift. That's why we need the GPS. Let's put some of this uh, liquid mayhem shad scent on this little plastic here. Oh yeah, that smells good. That's gonna hopefully 
increase our hookup ratio even though we're already catching fish but we're right on our spot where we want to be we're gonna drop it down let's see what we can get this water is like insanely clear today Oh, we already got a fish on. Drop down and fish on. That's what I'm talking about, little guy, but hey, didn't even have to do anything. I think they like that little bit of scent on there. Come on, crazy fluke. Oh my gosh. Fluke or crazy? Oh yeah, they are. Well, I mean, I guess if I got a hook through the eye socket, I'd be going crazy. All right. Back down we go. So I noticed something about that last drift is like we started out here where I am now in like 39, 38 feet of water and then we drifted up that way. And at the end of our drift, it was like 31 to like 29. So we kind of like went up like this little bank and that's probably where these fish are, are hanging. Oh, just missed one there. Watch this, I'm gonna drop it right back down. He's gonna hit it right on the fall. Just gonna let it sit. Oh, no, we didn't hit it. Sometimes you can get him to hit it again. There he is. A little shorty again. Still fun though. Got the guy out of the, on the outside of the mouth. So I'm using uh, 15 pound braid is my main line, 4000 shield, 7 foot 6 uh, medium power fast action, Mojo Inshore spinning rod, and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Probably could use 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon if I felt like I was going to get into like some really big fish, but I mean for the most part any fish we're going to catch today are going to be between like 10 and, and 20 inches, and I mean if we get anything really big we'll get really really lucky. But you know what, hey, I'll take luck over skill any day, just because uh, that's sometimes how everyone catches their, their big fish, just by surprise. You're not gonna know when you're gonna catch that 10 pounder. You're not gonna know when you're gonna catch that 50 pound bass. It's just gonna happen. Oh, there he is. Might be something better. Probably like 17 incher. <laughs> nope. More like 14. Eh, probably like 16 actually. 15 to 16. Let's see if we can get him to skip. <laughs> there he is. Oh! Feels pretty good. A little heavier. Okay, hey, not bad. Probably another 18 incher. Oh, he's hooked right on the edge, and that's what happens. That could have been a 19 incher. We've got like no current right now. Barely drifting, so I'm gonna have to make my own drift. Try and drift inwards. That's a good bite. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, I'm getting soaked. All right, and there's my alarms going off. Right when, when the alarm goes off, we get a nice one. Definitely a keeper. You know they want the bait when they're choking it like that. Let's see if we can unhook them and get them back. Ah, you know what? He's bleeding a little bit and I got him in the gills. That's probably a 20 inch fish. I think we're just gonna bleed him 
and we're gonna keep this guy for the table. I didn't want to, but he just choked it, man. Like the hook went, like the hook went right through like all of his gills. So we're gonna bleed him out. And uh, you know what, why not? We'll take him home, fry him up probably. Okay, we're gonna try and put him right here in the back and I didn't bring a stringer. So we're gonna take our bungee here for our cargo, put that through his gills, out through the mouth, and hopefully he won't go anywhere. Now nah, he's not going anywhere. All right. All right, so I think that's it. I got most of my bites like in the start of the drift, but now I'm just not getting anything. All right, so uh, not too shabby at all, you know? Easy 20 inch fluke right there. And uh, that was the right one to swallow the jig because we ended up killing them. And uh, you know, we caught a good amount of shorts, probably at least two to four fish that were like 18, 19, and that 20 incher. So uh, not, not bad at all for two hours of fishing. And uh, you know, we were using just that little three quarter ounce Broad Street Bucktail hand tied and uh, you know the link is in the description if you want to check them out they're very well made bucktails they're cheaper than spros so you'll you know save a little bit on the bank and uh, they catch fish just as well so we're gonna head on in we actually got some waves hitting the surf right now because of all the boats going by but uh yeah thanks for watching and never forget live to fish fish to live and i'll see you guys in the next one